Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a follow-up service call for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. It's another gloomy day out here in New York City. Once again, we had another failed compressor. <laughs> Never ends over here. We replaced the compressor, but we noticed the issue once we connected our tool. And the tool I'm talking about is the LG MV tool. Here's what the tool looks like. It connects to your main board right over there. It says CN2 with uh, underscore WH and it says LG MV over there. I'll take a picture so you guys can see. And like this, I can con connect my cell phone to it and actually control and monitor the system. Okay, I got the app connected and over here you see all the indoor units. I'm gonna leave a screenshot here show it shows there's so let me explain what's going on so there's one outdoor unit here there's three hr boxes which is like a form of a branch box and then there's eight indoor units the idu one to eight and i can monitor them if we look at idu three excuse me idu two if you look at the air temperature sensor take a screenshot it says it's at 103.48 degrees so with a reading like that this machine will basically never turn off because if the sensor is off, there's no way it's 103 degrees in there. There is just no way. So today's goal is to find out, which we don't know, which one of the eight air handlers has the faulty sensor. Number one is in cool mode, two is off, three is in heat, Four, five, six is in cooling and it's actually running. S seven and eight is also in cool mode, but it already reached temperature. So. What I'm gonna do is set them all to cool right now. Cool. And then we're gonna monitor it. Pay attention to the mode. Everything is gonna switch over. This might take a few seconds, about a minute or so. So we're gonna want this to all switch over to cool. Have them all on. Come on. Let's give it a minute. And like this, I'm gonna control the system, put everything to cool. Sorry for the person who got in heat mode. <laughs> so let's let this switch over. And I got Christian in one of the rooms. And he's gonna like mess with the thermostat, maybe turn it on or off, or raise the temperature, whatever. Maybe even turn off the power to it, and we're gonna be able to see it from here. And like that, we'll know which unit is that one. We're looking for IDU2. That's what we're looking for. There we go. Everything switched to cooling. If you look at mode, the one with the blue that means it's currently cooling. The one where it's not blue and it's just like no color to it, that means that the rooms are satisfied. All right, I'm gonna call Christian and have him maybe turn the system the thermostat on or off to see what's going on, see which room is which. All right, so you're at the thermostat right now? Yes, I am. All right, what is, what's going on on the thermostat? It's in cool mode? Okay, yes, it's on cool mode, fan's on high, and it's set to 68 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, I set it. I set it to that. What you're okay, gonna do? Turn the, yeah. turn the power for the thermostat off. Let me see if it okay. reacts here. All right, I press it off. Let me see if it would react. Now it's on. You said it's on. It's on now. Yeah, I pressed it off. You turn it back on. Turn it off. Press it off. No display. Display went away? Yes. 
All right, let me give this thing a minute and see if it reacts. Oh, uh, now it turned back on. It turned back on? Yes. Can you put it in heat mode? Can you put it in heat mode and raise the thermostat? All right, heat. Raising it up. All right. I thought the on and off would work. Not yet. It went back to cooling. It really it went back to cooling? Yes. I had it on heat, set to eighty. Man, I guess because I can I guess since I switched it to that. Let me see something. What if I indoor unit control? Maybe I can turn it off and then you try to turn it on, but I don't know if it's. Try that? Yeah, we're better off. Damn, we're gonna have to kill the power to the system. Uh, let's try this. I'm gonna set them all to turn off. Okay. Alright, it turned off. It turned off? Yes. Uh, it's starting to turn off here. Okay. Okay, everything is off. Okay. Put it to cooling. It's on. Cooling. 64. Put it. Let's put it to cooling. Yep, it's on cooling. Let's see if I could see it. And oh, it turned off. Turned off? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm just going to put them back in cooling just to keep the machine running. Okay. All right, man. Go downstairs grab a ladder we're gonna have to work the power we're gonna have to turn it on and off i think that's the only way so it doesn't just go off on its own unless there's something i'm missing here but look right now I'm putting them all back into cooling all right chris go grab a ladder and let's yeah. open up the panel we're gonna have to turn off the power yeah, and we're gonna yeah. go one by one to see which one is which understood i'm on it all right bye okay all right turn the power off okay all right it's off right now Man, I hope I can see this thing. Uh, Let's see if it responds. You turned off the switch? Correct. Power is off, huh? Yes. Yep. Give this thing a minute, see if it reacts. Power is off, but they're all still in cool. If you go to IDU control, it has those little numbers. I mean, those little crosses. Chris, turn the power back on. Let me see if I see anything in this one. Power back on. Alright, go to the thermostat. Alright. Lower the thermostat as much as you can. Got it. Is that 68? Okay, put it up to 64. So low as it goes. Let's see, does it go back to 68? Not yet. It was when it started. Oh, now it did. It went back to 68? Yes. Man, I thought it, I thought it would show here. Why does that EEV show zero? All right, so somehow you're stuck with what's going on because of my because uh, of my app I set everything to that temperature and now it's like locked out it's like you can't do anything you know what maybe if I turn this off close all this 
hold up okay. and unplug this. Give it a minute. Put this back in. Reset the app without actually setting the control. Maybe, maybe uh, you can set the thermostat. Let's see. Power is on. Correct. All right, power is on. Set it to heat and see if it goes. Okay. See if it goes now. Got you. All right, heat. All right, set to eighty-six. High hands on high. Let's see if it switches. Got it. Disconnected the app. Turned it. Oh, I just saw right something now. go to heat. Okay. You switched it to heat, right? I did, yes. Right there. ID U6, the right there. It just started. Oh, right there. It went to heat. All right, that's okay. ID U6. ID U6. That's not it. Okay, what's the one we're looking for? ID U. We're looking for something with the ID U2 on the app. Two. Okay. So it went so to heat. Fixed. Okay, so since I. Uh, that's good. Do me a favor, turn off the thermostat. Turn off the thermostat. Okay, right now it's off. Let's see if that one responds, IDU6, if it shows. Okay. If anything, listen, we'll, we'll work it from heat to cool, okay? Looks good. Oh, just went off. All right, so okay. when, I, when I took off the app, I reset it now it shows because if not i had it locked in while i had it open okay so that's all we that's all you gotta do you don't have to open up any more ceilings okay okay great all right you can leave the power on right okay close the ceiling and go to the next room and call me i'm just going 305 right that's the next one the yeah you're in 301 right now Correct. All right, 301 is IDU6. So okay. move on to the next one. Understood. I'll let you know I'm in there. All right, bye. Oh, man, I'm glad this thing worked out because I'm like, how are we going to figure this out? We're going to go to eight rooms, and I don't think we could even get into all of them. But at least we can uh, see what's up. So right there, the one with the little cross right there. IDU6, that's room 301. They, they need to label all these things. I'm gonna help them label all these rooms so we know for the future. I pretty much just came up with the ideas like how are we gonna figure out which room? Maybe we'll mess around with the temperatures, turn it on and off while I have it plugged up on the roof so I can see what's what. All right, now I know it works. But if you did set any of the temperatures, you're gonna have to disconnect the app and the, to and the tool, basically reset it and let it be able to be used on its own. So, all right. Christian's gonna move on to the next room and hopefully we figure it out. Currently we have access to three rooms. One of them, the fourth room has somebody in it. Maybe we can knock and ask, but we're pretty much gonna try to just figure out like <laughs> which room is what. And like that, we know whichever one is IDU2. We need to replace the air sensor because it, it is clearly off. Okay, so you're in 305 now? Yes. Turn that thermostat off. Okay. So. Now let's see if it responds. I don't see anything yet, man. This freaking thing, man. <laughs> it's off right now? Yes, it's off. The curb is that. What the heck? Last time when you did that, it responded pretty quick. Uh, turn it back on, put it to heat. Let's see if it does okay. anything. Maybe I need to reset the, reset this app or something. All right, okay. And see if it stays like that. Is it 
staying? Yes, it's staying currently. So it's in heat mode right now. Okay, is it going for you? No, I'm asking you. Yeah, it's on heat mode right now. Heating, high, set to 84. I'm resetting this app. I'm resetting the app. Oh, now it went. So now it's starting. Oh, it's in heat, right? It wasn't before. Was, I see it, I see it. That's IDU4. IDU4. Alright, turn it off. Alright. Turn it off. Alright, it's off. Yeah, I hear it too. Okay. Take a screenshot there, turn it off. Yeah. There we go. It just turned off. That's IDU4. Oh, that's 305? Alright man, move on to the next room. Two thousand years later. Alright, let's go to the next one. Let's uh let's turn it off. Alright. Let me see if anything changes. Oh that was it. That's number two. Turn it back on. Alright. Turn it back on. Yeah. It's on now. Watch number two. Let's see. That's it. Yeah. What room is that? This is 308. 308? Yes. All right, I'm going to come down real quick. Okay. All right, bye. All right, so we figured out which room it is. Problem is there's a guest inside. This is a hotel. And they never put the access panel, so... <laughs> We're gonna have to come back when the gas is out and they're gonna have to cut the ceiling down for us to do this repair. Not only are we gonna change the sensor, we're gonna change the fan motors because they're making a crazy sound. And we're gonna do the full preventive maintenance for it. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. I'm just gonna connect to the machine one last time, set everything to cool. Maybe it's around 70 degrees, 71 degrees, something fair. And we're gonna have to come back to change the air sensor in that room. I'll make a video on that. It's just we don't have the access right now. It is what it is. But this video is definitely an interesting one because if you connect the tool and you find something odd, like one of the uh, pipe in, pipe out, or air thermistors have an off reading, if you know which air handler that unit uh, is labeled through the app in real life, You'd be like, oh, like like now we know. Okay, IDU2, which one is that? Let's check our notes. Okay, that's room 308. 308 clearly has a faulty room sensor. 103 degrees, it's freezing in there. Cooling's on, it's never gonna turn off because it can't read the temperature properly. So this is pretty much the method you would do to figure out, you know, isolate each room. Either set it to heating or cooling or turn it on and off. Make sure to reset the app on and off if you need to. Play around with it. And that's how you're gonna figure it out. But as far as this, probably just going to wrap it up from here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.